Hello everybody once again, this is Aqua Kazoo and welcome back to another show match and this will be between Smooth Shocker and Old Jacko. They're both real life friends in the Philippines. As right now we're here to showcase Smoochie as well as his friend Old Jacko. It's a gladiator and a destroyer matchup here. We can see a nice vision slash by the crisis house timing from Smooth Shocker is brilliant once again. You can definitely see very steady plays from here. Look at that, avoiding the counter exile. They have a nice flying swing as well. As Jacko does well to get the triple slash EX land, but he fails to continue his combos from here, unfortunately. See the circle swing used and the taunting card as well to bait Ur evasion. Finish that here, use as a counter. But it's caught by the storm here. You can see Smooth Shocker knows that the opponent is still in the direction here, even though he was lagging and disappeared. Very experienced player here, definitely a veteran here. So the Millstorm out connecting there as well as well. He knocks down his opponent here to prevent any counter reactive skills. Though I don't think Gladiator got any. Right now you can see Jacko baiting the Ray Vision here. Cancelling his line drive on the circle swing as well as he thought that he'll be cancelled. Front show iframe there to, to dodge the, the punishing swing. Super as well, but Smooth Shocker in a very good position here. 55% HP, you can let the Storm preventing the flying result as well. But the circle swing there, cancelling the flying swing counter with the comeback result here, which was used instinctively. But you can see Jacko down to 2% HP, the Eclipse connects as well. I think the whirlwind here is an accident for Smooth Shocker on the first round, but punishing swing Spammer used well again against the front shove there. Once again, Smooth Shocker for you. As his girlfriend, I believe Cornell is also in the spectator stance, cheering him on at the moment. Is right now going to round two. See so the Moonlight Splitter harassment from the start. Baiting the aerial combo as well. Here you can see he enters after baiting these two skills. But Evasion Slash there, nicely done by Jacko here. I couldn't quite continue his combos. It's actually went backwards. Avoids the demolition phase wisely there. You can see the Crisis How not quite hitting due to the Eclipse debuff on. Counter Exile timing is good here, but see the Flying Swing counter once again, and the Circle Break this time. You can see it's another counter play from Jacko, he's doing well. Gets the Cyclone Slash to connect as well to finish attack here. Even the Moonlight Speeds up. I can see Smooth Shockers too has about 50% HP, so... I see the Gladiators definitely don't do much damage in their combos. Forces the Relief here, we see the Middle Storm how used as a counter, as Jacko now getting counter attack. Look at that Storm and then the Taunting how to cancel the area, area Evasion there. I mean the Aerial Combo nicely done once again from Smooth Shocker. Drop kick off the wall, bounce into impact punch, into rolling attack here as he does the much near damage he needs to do. The circle swing there on the air vision once again for you. Good at avoiding the crisis howl again from Jacko, who's doing fine. Circle swing this time not good, and the ring bombs take takes him away. As Smooth Shocker has about 22% HP in this round. So you see that old Jacko is doing fine. There's good counter plays. He sees that the flying swing is used as a counter for the counter exile from Smooth Shocker. He counters it with a nice circle break. Uh, Smooth Shocker as well, times Crisis Howl as well. As we're going into third round. We attack here, but Evasion Slash not quite connecting. Flying Swing used once again. Gets caught by the dashboard continuation here. Forces Counter Exile, Demolition Fist, another counter against Counter Exile here. As Smooth Shocker connects with a nice Storm as well, dodging the Eclipse as well. Getting the circle swing to hit because the front two hits actually flinch his opponent. You can't really dodge, usually you can dodge the third hit. I can see Smooth Shocker taking the effort to push the front two shoulder push on the circle swing so that Jacko can't really dodge it. Gets caught by the way attack here as his rising slash not quite finding the target. I should be fine for him. Gets caught by the evasion slash on his air vision, nicely caught by old Jacko, forces the relief here. As the crisis how timing once again, brilliant from Smooth Shocker. Circle swing to relief and once again, impact punch through the face. On the relief from Smooth Shocker there, well done. You can see once again he's very prone to opponents disappearing from lag. As you can see just now, he found his opponent once again, but oh Jacko in his counter play right now. Based the air evasion here. Gets caught by a middle jump out once again. 15% HP right now for Jacko. Based air evasion. The drop kick's forced. See good gameplay from him once again, but once again his combo's not quite managing to continue. Heavy slash there, look at that, dodging the crisis how with an evasion slash as well. Saw that coming, but got caught by the punching swing into circle swing once again. Smooth Shocker getting the shoulder blast from the circle swing to hit so that the, re the opponents remains flinched, unable to dodge on the third hit. So you can see that he knows that a lot of gladiators or opponents in general actually dodge the circle swing there, but he uses the shoulder push to make sure that they are flinched continuously so that the dodge can't be used. Smooth Shocker in a very good position here, 3 0 at the moment in this show match. Vision Stash, well caught here by Crisis How timing once again, brilliant from Smooth Shocker. 
Gets caught by the storm counter on the front shelf as once again you can see that old Jacko was kinda laggy there but he found his opponent once again. Flying swing timing is good once again as well. Forces the area evasion here as once again the circle swing counter on the area combo here. Circle swing is definitely a very good counter to catch your opponent after the area combo or counter exile. As right now smooth shocker activates his combo mode. Having fun times here, you can see he's very familiar with all the combos that he needs to do. Hope he screws up on this one, gets caught by the wake attack. Calmly dodges, no he got caught by a final attack here. As, as old Jacko does some much the damage, get caught by the Mistrum Hulk, gets a lucky parry here. The counter swing that is dodged by the Smooth Shocker, definitely very well done. Crisis Hulk timing once again, brilliant on the Eclipse. Forces the Relief once again, Impact Punch on the Relief here. As you can see, Smooth Shocker prone and used to lag once again. Avoids the counter exile once again with a circle swing counter. Gets caught by the aerial combo however this time. As, as Jacko is on his counter attack, avoids the storm as well. Well done by Jacko there on dodging. But gets caught by the punching swing. Well placed by Smooth Shocker definitely. As right now old Jacko is in trouble. Look at that one normal slash. More stuff from Smooth Shocker once again. 4-0 right now as old Jacko looks to be getting... I don't know, he's going to eat an omelette at the moment. But I don't think that's going to happen, as if not, this show match will not happen at all. We're not here to watch 5-0 Ruffle Storms. As old Jacko definitely showing us some decent stuff. But the question is, was it good enough? For him to get one round, Bates crashes out from the start. It's off to a good start here. Gets caught a drop, by a drop kick, however. Look at that front show of iframe used to dodge. But the flying swing used well once again. Gets the Eclipse on. Smooth Shocker at the moment, Bates the air evasion, dodges the circle swing this time, as you can see the shoulder blast was not on him this time, but he still gets caught here. See the iframe used very well, once again a nice circle break here to catch Smooth Shocker once again, to bait the wake attack here, and the evasion slash on the wake attack once again, brilliant. And I think this time old Jacko is on a good run here, even getting Smooth Shocker into a cyclone slash, but you can see that the finish attack was dodged by a well timed area evade by Smooth Shocker, look at once again, demolition fizz. As he dodges the, the Mushnam Hulk this time, well done by him definitely as Smooth Shockers. I believe all his cuts are played but gets caught by a nice place punching swing once again into ring bombs here from Smooth Shockers, doing extremely well. Taunting Hulk flinch here, gets a lucky parry for old Jacko. Front shows away from the Rising Slash. As once again Eclipse dodge, his circle break was just a bit short off, off there to actually flinch Smooth Shocker. Goes into a relief, evasion slasher, but was caught by the rolling attack and a dash blow once again. Smooth Shocker in his counter at the moment as he says, AW. Will be over for Old Jacko at the moment as you can see Smooth Shocker. Oh, he fills the combo here. As once again Old Jacko dodging the circle swing wisely. Nice crisis how timing here. Demolition Fist counter against the counter exile once again. But finish attack on the punishing swing, well done here. Smooth Shocker's in trouble right now, he's down to 2% HP. The second slash avoided the arrow combo, he's avoided the arrow combo as well. As you can see, oh, Jacko cancelling his line drive there, much needed, and the Moonlight Sweeter grabs his first round here. As he's at 1% HP there, we saw an extremely nice line drive cancelling. If he didn't cancel that, he would have been taken away. But nope, he cancelled it on time here. Well done by old Jacko on the reaction there, definitely. As he grabs one from Smooth Shocker. To avoid the omelette being cooked, I guess. Let's go by a dashboard from the start this time round. As you can see two normal attacks into a wall bounce here from Smooth Shocker. This is what Pat used to do on his Gladiator as well. Two normal slashes into side sweep kick to get a wall bounce here. But we saw this being done with an axe here, even though we see a sword. Though that's just cosmetic here. As the area region baits from Smooth Shocker right now. It's lucky parry off the circle swing once again. The circle breaks the this time. Crisis how timing once again. Brilliant from Smooth Shocker. See the punishing swing counter against the aerial combo as well. Aim a punch to the face. The Storm to bring him back after the lag once again for you, Smooth Shocker, the tournament veteran. Oh, wall bouncing between the two walls this time. Oh, misses the third one, but gets the demolition phase, wall bounce once again. And it was somehow catching Old Jacko once again to force the counter exile. Nice lynching with the counter exile here from Smooth Shocker. Avoids the circle swing as well. Delayed front show flinch. Oh, division slash truly got caught by the punching swing there. As you can see, the taunting how used to make him reappear, but got caught by a finish attack there from Old Jacko here. Crisis Hulk timing, didn't cancel the line drive here, but you can see Smooth Shocker dodging it once again. See a nice punishing swing there on. Old Jacko there, beats the area vision. Oh, Old Jacko's rushing slash beats Smooth Shocker's rushing slash here. You can see them dashing around here. Gets caught by a Taunting Hulk into a Storm to catch him again once again. Smooth Shocker for you, but the evasion slash here. Nicely done, beats the wing attack as well. 
As Old Jacko gets caught by the flying swing and Mr. Hawk over with a nice punch for I frame off the way attack here. Nicely done by Old Jacko by the punishing swing from the back here as Moon Shocker grabs the first game 5 to 1. Nicely done by Smooth Shocker, definitely. Are we going to game two right away here? As we see some nice dodging skills from Old Jacko, but it wasn't enough here. We see Smooth Shocker doing some good Millstrom House as well. As we see Old Jacko dodging one Millstrom House there with a wake attack into a front of iframe. Definitely very well done on that one for dodging Millstrom How. But I'll go to game two right now. Even though it was one, it was a 5 1 score here, I think Old Jacko actually did. Pretty good for all the rounds, bringing Smooth Shocker down to at least 50% HP in every round or lower. And there were some rounds that were actually very close. But right now, we're going into game 2 between these two players here. I hope you guys are enjoying the show match so far. And I should give these two players a thumbs up. As once again, they're real life friends and they do play together very often, according to them after the match. That's what they told me. But definitely rare sporting players here, as I believe this is the first show match showcasing Smooth Shocker here, as you guys have seen him perform in the King of Fighters, or the King of Formal, I mean. So far in the tournament in Team Zero here, being featured in the All Kills highlight this week, I mean last week for Week 1. Right now, he's on a roll once again. Gets caught by the Eclipse here. See a nice triple slash into finish attack here for Old Jacko. That's one way to connect finish attack aside from the wall bounce. As a circle break, they counter with a nice rolling attack here. It runs around the Moonlight Speeder, not even getting one hit from the Moonlight Speeder here. Storms and counter plays once again from Smooth Shocker on Old Jacko. See the taunting how used, couldn't quite get it, dodges the wake attack. Look at that flying swing there as the line jump was coming from the back. See the crisis how timing once again, brilliant. Nice demolition fist counter on the triple slash once again. Voice the aerial combo here, punishing swing, dodged by a nice front show here. As Smooth Shocker baits his area vision, the future attack here is nicely done, but Smooth Shocker walks away to safety. You see, nice Eclipse catching here, and the circle break once again. We've seen some very nice circle breaks here from, from Jacko. Uh, Kurunka continue, continue his combos there with the Rising Slash, he's caught by a punishing swing here, he's in trouble to the ring bombs. As Smooth Shocker avoids the aerial combo here, Storms counters once again into Taunting Howl. But the drop king not finding a target here, it was actually the counter exile here, but a 12,000 mil strum how here takes old Jacko away once again. As you can see, smooth shocker at 32% HP, so old Jacko is definitely doing a good job, but just simply not good enough. As right now, we go into round 2 in game 2. Oh, Moonlight Speeder there, the third one, the dragon shot actually hit there. Wanted to dodge the Crisis Howl there, but you can see Smooth Shocker once again timing his Crisis Howl counters very well. Avoids the front row flinch, goes in with a nice dashboard counter, base the area vision. Demolition flinch dodged by Old Jacko at the moment. Circle swing used defensively there. Nice taunting Howl flinch into a storm once again, Smooth Shocker for you. Base the counter exile once again with a nice flying swing counter. Punching swing against the circle break there. That's caught by the aerial combo this time, well aimed by Old Jacko. He wanted to bait the Crisis Howl there, but he has the Eclipse buff this time, even though the Crisis Howl was used. Nice Storm there, forces the relief into Evasion Slash. Nice Evasion Slash from Old Jacko here. Gets caught by a Millstrom Howl there from Smooth Shocker into Impact Punch. forces his relief. His Air Evasion as well as a Circle Swing, catching him once again. The counter against Air Evasions for you, as Smooth Shocker does well once again. Old Jacko in trouble here, but he gets caught by a weight attack. Nice punch shot, iframe the evasion slash to avoid the punching swing explosion here. But you can see Old Jacko couldn't quite continue his momentum. Avoids the storm nicely. The circle break once again, very well done. Base air evasion here. He's in a good run at the moment. Where's the cyclone slash? We see the cyclone slash one right now. As Moon Shocker in trouble here. Old Jacko, 15% HP, goes into finish attack. Oh, he's in trouble. Front shove. As Old Jacko grabs his first round in game 2. Definitely well deserved here. He tries to do some howl dodging at the start, but I can see Smooth Shocker not getting baited. He actually delays his howl there to flinch him in the end. But we saw some nice circle break once again. I think Old Jacko's trademark so far I see is very nice circle breaks time against the destroyer. This is something I learned from him and a nice time evasion slash as well on the dash blow. Fire Show iframe dodge, the storm dodge as well, but I can see Crisis Howl timing here from, from Swooshy once again. Brilliant. Fine swing timing here is good. On the rising slash counter. Nice slash blow catching here once again. As Moon Shocker playing with his prey at the moment. Drop kick off the wall bounce. Forces the relief, heavy slash avoider, but the damage of his cancels the line drive once again. 
Gets caught by an aerial combo into front shove. Eclipse was fast enough to prevent. The Crisis Howl timing here, but I can see a nice finish attack here. But the Crisis Howl timing this time, good. And the Maelstrom Howl continuation here. Takes Old Jackal away as Smooth Shocker at 42% HP. Once again, Old Jackal definitely brings Smooth Shocker down to below 50% HP. The question is, what about after 50% HP? <laughs> but right now, Smoochie in a 2-1 lead so far. Preemptive dash blow here gets caught by Heavy Slash. I think Old Jackal was waiting for the Crisis Howl here, but I didn't quite manage to appear. You can see Smooth Shocker using it for the right time. Right now, the Crisis Howl is baited. Flying Swing used once again very well against the Eclipse and the usual Rising Slash combo from a lot of Gladiators. Gets a lucky breaking point as well. You can see the Taunting Howl used against the Counter Exile as well. Counter plays once again. Punching Swing, Super Armor used well against Vision Slash. Base the area Vision here. Nice drop kick from Old Jackal. The finish attack here. Definitely dodged by Smooth Shocker. Storm the catching once again to a side kick. And the ring bombs into the air. Beautiful. Nice vision slash off the relief, I believe. The strong out counter. He avoided it as the line drive actually came him out of the distance here. Nicely done. And once again, a brilliant circle swing here from Old Jacko. It's a lucky parry, but doesn't find the target. Flying swing counter once again. Punishing swing, flinches. Base the area vision. The vision slash once again. Nice for Jacko. But I couldn't quite continue as his impact punch was short. Gets caught by a taunting howl, nevertheless. That's the preemptive finish attack here, avoided by Smooth Shocker. Nice line swing on the triple slash once again, but Eclipse cancels it. Demolition Fist counter here as they are countering each other play by play as the impact punch. Not finding a target. Evigen slash on the dash blow once again, brilliant. But the Cyclone Slash not quite finding a target. As Old Jacko in trouble gets a lucky parry, avoided once again by Smooth Shocker. Well done by him, definitely on the reaction. As the Taunting Half Flinch wants to get into the ring bombs. As round 4 goes to Smooth Shocker once again. Definitely a very good job by this player. But look at that, he's at 37% HP. So he's definitely not a ruffle storm for Smooth Shocker. He definitely needs to put in some effort here to fight against Old Jacko. A gladiator definitely put off some very nice plays, especially his use on Circle Swing. Oh, side to sweep kick here on the jump for Smooth Shocker. You can see Smooth Shocker not using his wake attack here, even though he was close enough to use it. Flying Swing once again, counter against Counter Exile. Look at that, dodging the Crisis Howl with a nice evasion slash this time. But Old Jacko once again, failing to continue his combos there. That is definitely a pity. But his front show flinch is good. Get caught by a wig attack, however. Gets caught by a circle swing continuation. Punching swing this time counters the circle break as it was cast earlier and further enough away. I mean, far enough away. 11,000 ring bombs here. Relief once again. Counter with a nice impact punch. Nice demolition phase once again from Smooth Shocker here. This is definitely textbook play stuff on him. Look at that dropkick on the air evasion on Old Jacko once again. Taunting how to keep the target attackable with the Rising Slash. If not, there'll be the chance for him to roll away. Crisis how once again, brilliant. The front shove iframe is used well. Evasion Slash. Oh, get caught by a Maelstrom how here once again from Smooth Shocker. 4-1 at the moment as this time he failed to bring him down to below 50% HP. As Smooth Shocker gets his momentum here. I think he's getting to know the plays of Old Jacko, especially avoiding that circle break earlier on there. Keep his distance, just enough to avoid it, but counters with a nice punishing swing. You can see that Old Jacko definitely has max Moonlight Speeder there. That's 2.1k per Moonlight Speeder. Evasion baited here, Evasion Slash, counter with punishing swing support armor here. As you can see once again, Spoon Shocker discovering his opponent back with a Storm. As Old Jacko baits his air evasion here, he gets caught by the circle swing after he tumbles. Flying swing once again, counter against the flying time, I believe that was lagging here, it's actually Smooth Shocker got hit by the taunting how to see and make him reappear. A voice the evasion slash gets caught by the punching swing flinch into the ring bombs here. He was one with a nice punch of iframe, but will it be good enough here? As Old Jack goes down to 54, no 64% HP. Delayed triple slash, nicely done. I see a nice drop kick with a nice breaking point for Smooth Shocker here at the moment. It's down to 57% HP, 52% HP after the line drive. Once again, beautiful circle break from Old Jack here. Into the second slash. Oh, he was avoided by a wig attack. Nice parry on the circle swing, but gets caught by a storm here with the breaking point. He's in trouble. Air evasion baited. Nice aerial combo continuation here. Front show frame. Look at that triple slash on the relief as Smooth Shocker in trouble. His air evasion baited. Demolition fist away. Super armor used well. Avoids the finish attack as well. As his dash blow connects on the old Jacko. Gets the taunting howl. Into ring bombs. Into Millstrom Hell catching. Gets a lucky parry once again on the Millstrom Howl, but will be good enough. The Crisis Howl once again. Avoids the counter exile. Punching swing flinch on the front shove. Circle swing counter on the triple slash. Avoids the aerial combo this time. Line drive avoided by Smooth Shocker. 
Circle Break avoided, you can see that was anticipative, but look at that, Smooth Shocker knows that it was coming, and the drop kick of death on him on the on the last round there, as he grabs his last. So if you guys enjoyed this show match between Smooth Shocker or Smoochie and Old Jacko, both from Philippines, definitely very well played by both players. Hope you guys enjoy it. Give them the much needed thumbs up. And the next show match will be featuring two players from Hollywood, and that will be Up and High and the Mosquito. I think one is a barbarian and one will be a destroyer here. So what you can look forward to will be a very nice usage of Bone Crash. Epic Bone Crash ending, I think it just spoiled it for you. But definitely you'll see yeah, you'll see two very good players as once again. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Remember to subscribe to T Sending Gaming if you haven't as well to be notified of all the uploads that we do every day. And I hope you guys enjoyed the CLS League so far. Go watch the the first week highlights if you haven't. And yep, I think that's all for me. Watch the previous show match between Longswords 2 and Belfry if you haven't as well. And once again, thanks for watching. God bless, and I'll see you guys next time.